Hello guys and welcome to another reaction video. Today we will be doing Dead by Daylight Stranger Things Spotlight Reaction. Now, I have seen this so again, I'm in my full reaction, but it is semi my reaction. Today I just went to see Alien in Theater, and yesterday I didn't really want to make a video. And tomorrow I'm going to make a video about what's going to happen in the future of my channel, because videos are going to come slowly now very slowly which I'm going to be sad about but I'm still making videos but let's continue watching the shut up phone here is the next chapter for dead by daylight experience stranger things in the realm of the entity in the small midwestern town of Hawkins Indiana a class of experiment goes awry unleashing an otherworldly creature into the world that turns the lives of its residents upside down. Enter the underground complex. Alright, okay, so my opinion on the underground complex, it's a great map. Especially with a, like a sneaky build, like a Peekaboo Meyer build. That, I may actually do in the future, if I am able to get Dipadillate and a better recording device somehow. But I will eventually make videos like that and do special builds soon not now but soon <gasps> but really this map is great it's probably the largest map we've seen or the most or the map that has the most things in it i'm not sure if it's the largest but it has a map is humongous to me it has a lot in it it's literally an underground science lab and i enjoy that all right let's continue Plex, hidden deep beneath the hawkins national laboratory a dark place that was once home to inhumane paranormal experiments. Now its walls speak to the... Alright, so the hooks I really do love. It's like, if you guys haven't seen Stranger Things Season 4 or any Stranger Things, then please click off the video and get Netflix and watch that right away. So that there's no spoilers. But the hooks are like little pusses. Not pusses, but little goops and gory type of hooks they're real flesh like more goopy and they have rats in it the infected rats which i do really think is really cool and i really like that a lot and it may be my favorite hook design in the whole game all right let's continue and also the bodies the bodies in the game is really really cool i really enjoy that to where how there's so many bodies in the game i mean in the map it even confuses me to where I'm sitting there like, wait, is that a survivor? And then I don't think, and then I see it's a dead body. I'm like, oh, it's not a survivor. But let us continue. Chaos and suffering that took place when a rift to another. I wish you were able to go through that rift in this one map. That's the only thing I don't like about this map is that you're not able to go through the rift. You're able to turn the generator on and go through the rift. You'd get maybe two items or there'd be a special hook in there. It'd be really hard to get to, well, not really hard to get to, but it's like a special hook, or something, at least. And if you were able to, like, there'd be another, I'm not sure, but it'd be really cool to go through that rift, but it'd take a while to do that. Well, let's continue. The world was accidentally opened, unleashing an army of interdimensional creatures. The new killer is... To me... Well, to me, the Demogorgon is my favorite killer right now. Besides Hag and Wraith, Demogorgon is my favorite licensed killer. It's because I'm a huge fan of um, Stranger Things. That's one. Number two is this is the first extraterrestrial or monster-like creature we have had in this game. All the other killers have literally been killers or spiritual monsters. I mean, killers like the spirit. Or other terms in spiritual, maybe the wraith. But there's not been a lot. There's more likely been just people going mad. And this is really cool because we have our first monster like creature. And I really do hope the devs in Depadelli do keep on doing this. And I really, with all my heart, can continue to support this fully because I love it how they put monsters in the game. It needs more monsters. Alright, let's continue. That I love. That's what made me love the Demogorgon so much. And actually, in October 29th or October 30th, near Halloween, I will have a special jacket coming in. 
with Stranger Things related to it, but I will not say what it is. Around then, I will make a video showing off my jacket and go ahead and tell you guys what it is then. And maybe even then, I will have a Switch or PS4 to go ahead and continue recording on. But that will be later in the future, and I will have to make a video tomorrow or the next day about explaining what I will, what's going to happen in the future. Okay, let's continue. Now full of needle-like teeth, large razor-sharp claws, and Alright, what I gotta say the, about the Demogorgon I really love is the sounds. The sounds are mwah on it. The sounds are terrific on the, mon on the Demogorgon. It sounds exactly like the Demogorgon, more than Netflix would let us know what the Demogorgon is. It's beautiful. Beautiful. It's probably one of my most favorite monsters in the game. Well, in anything, more likely, besides the ant, xenomorph, and maybe even the thing. I really do enjoy that thing. That thing is really freaky. But really, the other perfect xenomorph uh, organism is xenomorph. That is also my other favorite one. But let's continue. Powerful legs to pounce on victims make the Demogorgon a frightening monster. Demogorgon. To face in any dimension. A perfect hunter. It just looked like it slapped his lips like... Delicious. The Demogorgon is... The vaulting is so creepy. Whenever I first saw that watching Monto play against Demogorgon, scared the living heck out of me. I was terrified of that. That's what I really do love, because that's scary. It's a macabre testament to the horrors lurking in the upside down and in the realm of the... That power, though. That power is really OP to me. Like, if... You don't know how to go around someone and the hitbox is that big, then you're kind of going to get screwed. Once you have a corner to run to, then you're getting out of there, but let's continue. The Demogorgon's power is of the abyss. Catch survivors by surprise. The Demogorgon uses portals to traverse the map quickly. It begins each trial with a limited number of portals that can be spawned on any flat ground surface. The allow the Demogorgon to travel through the upside down from one portal to another. This power also allows the Demogorgon to charge up and pounce on its prey from a distance, unleashing a vicious slash. Demogorgon comes with three new perks. Okay, so I gotta talk about the power. The power is probably one of the best powers of the game. Maybe besides um, Nurse, Spirit, and Myers. Those are probably the three most powerful killers in the game, but Demogorgon may even be up an a S rank with some add-ons. The reason why I say this is because the teleporter portals are the greatest way to travel around the map. If you don't want to go ahead and walk around or you know someone's near there, then you can quickly traverse there and give him the spooks. And then the other one, whenever he opens his mouth and strikes at you, also lets you know when survivors are near your porter portals. So the portals act like kind of aura reading places around the map. So whenever you go ahead and open your mouth, you're able to see them and then go ahead and place down another portal that you have. In your inventory maybe and then go travel there but that has to be whenever they're not interrupting if you enter it whenever they're interrupting and they destroy the portal then you won't be able to use that portal and that portal will be destroyed but if you're doing it during then they can't do anything to the portal they will have to run away all right continuing surge charge the air and weaken generators <laughs> Downing a survivor causes nearby generators to surge, placing a regression of- That perk is great, especially if you want to do a build that's an uh, anti-generator build. To where you go around, smack a survivor down, and then all the generators literally lit up. Or you want a down surprise build, well, that's what I'm calling it, is to where you down someone with your M1 attack, and then something happens, like someone screams, or a generator- uh, gets kicked, something like that, which is very interesting. Effect on any generators within range. Cruel limits. Reduce escape options and go in for the kill. Survivors who successfully fix a generator will find nearby windows blocked for a short while. 
This one's great if you want to trap a survivor in sections so that if they go ahead and complete a generator, then that means if someone's in a chase and they're trying to vault something, then they won't be able to vault, which would be great because then they're stuck and you have them in your hands. And eventually, if they're injured, then you can inst and then you can down them and then hook them or even kill them, depending on if you have the morty. Let's continue. Mindbreaker. Intimidate your prey. Fear, dread, and doubt fill the survivors, mentally and physically exhausting them as they repair generators. New survivor. Again, that'd be a great anti-generator perk is to where they're going in and you want slower gain, slow the game, slow the game down just a little bit to where the generators are nearly not completed, then you can go ahead and use that perk along with some other perks to make the survivors a bit weaker whenever they need the gens. Which I do really agree with because that is a smart idea to do. Let's continue. Nancy Wheeler. Nancy Wheeler is a stubborn investigator with an instinct for a good story. Pursuing a lead one evening, she fearlessly approaches the Hawkins National Laboratory before suddenly losing consciousness. A moment later, she awakens in a strange, misty realm with the sound of a familiar roar echoing through the air. Nancy Wheeler comes with three new births. Better together. Help others. Help yourself. Reveal the generator you are repairing to nearby survivors. If the killer down... Now, this perk is a great perk whenever you want everyone to do a generator, so you're like a gen jockey build. You can go ahead and bring a toolbox and hop onto a gen, and then whenever you have that level uh, max tiered perk, then other survivors are able to see so that other survivors can come and help you, which means more generators done equals faster escape, which means less death, which I am very happy for. The survivor, while you're repairing a generator, all survivors are revealed to you for a moment. Fixated. Nothing stands in your way. Your tracks are revealed to you. And when you're uninjured, you can walk faster than usual. Now, I think that's a really good perk because if you do, uh, like a fast build, so you run sprint burst, fixated, um, I can't remember what that one perk is. I can't remember really. But you go ahead and run like a quick build, then you're able to go ahead and use this without running. That'd be so cool. And it would also mess with the killer because like you could make a little maze and then confuse the killer whenever it sh whenever he or it is trying to chase you. So that if you run run direction, you can go ahead and run in circles, wait for the scratch marks to leave, then run a bigger circle and then run away, confusing the killer. Without leaving any tracks for a killer to follow. Inner strength. Look inward and trust your instincts. Cleanse a totem to activate this perk. Once activated, you can enter a locker to gather your strength and heal. Now this perk is really good if you want to do like a hiding build so that in the beginning, no matter what, you can always break a totem and that perk is ready to be activated. Then if you get damaged and you're able to escape the killer, then find a locker, slip into that, and wait about 10 to 15 seconds, hop back out, and then you're able to be... And then you're fully healed so that you're ready to go and continue. Which I think is a really powerful perk. And it helps you and your team out just a bit more. New survivor, Steve Harrington. Stevie, my boy. Steve Harrington is an unlikely mentor and leader. One evening, he received a call for assistance from his friend Nancy Wheeler. He drove all the way to the Hawkins National Laboratory, searched the area. Before he realized what was happening, the ground opened and a swirl of black mist filled his eyes. When he awakened, he was in a strange place that seemed familiar yet unfamiliar at the same time. Steve Harrington comes with three new perks. Babysitter. Risk it all to save a friend. 
The survivor you see from a hook leaves no blood trail or scratch marks for a short time. This bold and courageous act also allows you and the killer to see each other's aura for a short time. Camaraderie. Now that perk is a great perk if you want to be like a savior uh, build, have one of those builds. So that whenever you go ahead and save someone, you're able to see the killer's aura. So then you can distract them and then go and go on a chase, use insta heal and then keep running. That's actually a really good perk, just to mess with the killer, and then you run object of deception. That's gonna be really cool too, I think. Friends bring you strength. Survivors who come close to you as you struggle against the entity on a hook will give you hope and strength, briefly pausing the struggle phase timer. Now that's a good perk if you don't want to die so quickly, because like me, if I was playing survivor, I'm gonna be probably the first or second person to be hooked. Because I'm terrible at Survivor. That's why I'd want to bring that perk just in case if I try to successfully hop off. Or try to hop off. Then if there's someone near me, then I may able to go ahead and have the timer paused for me when if I'm struggling. So that they can come and get me. Which is really does come in handy if you are sucking at struggling. Second wind. One good turn deserves another. When you heal a survivor, the perk activates. If you unhook yourself, or you are unhooked by a survivor, you heal automatically. Now that's a good perk because whenever you go ahead and get unhooked, then you heal, un heal automatically. That's a really good perk if you want to get away safe and sound. So that whenever you get off, then you're healed, and then you're able to run away and do a gen. That's really cool. There are things that lurk beyond the boundaries of the known world. Horrific and strange things best left unseen. The stranger. The Demogorgon has one of the best Moris in the game. He actually eats the person, which I think is interesting and cool. Now. Things chapter is available now, everywhere. Alright, so my opinion on this chapter is amazing. I love this chapter. It may be my favorite chapter in Dead by Daylight. The reason why is because I'm a big fan of Stranger Things. I cannot wait until Stranger Things 4 comes out, which I'm very interested in. But, besides that... Stranger Things has always been a weird show to me, but then I actually sat and got into it because my dad told me to get into it because he's a butthole some days, but I finally got into it and I really enjoy it now because of the creatures. So, season one, they had the Demogorgon, probably my favorite creature of all time, and season two, season two, they had Demogorgon dogs, or Demi Doggos, which are very terrifying and fast, but were really interesting. And then season three, they had Master Mind, or Semi Master Mind, or Mini Mister Mini Mind, something like that. Because Master Mind was way bigger than we see, than that. And whenever he was there, whenever he had the host or the kid he possessed, I can't remember his name. It's been a minute, but that wasn't even the biggest. But really, I think the Demogorgon was the best thing. And then season three, we see the Demogorgon that may actually have been created by the Russians, or the Russians are able to pull him out last second to sit and study and explore and, and test about, which I think is really interesting. But anyway, guys, that would be the end of my video, and tomorrow or the next day, I'll make another video about what is going to happen in the future of my channel. And I hope you guys joined the video, and if you did, please leave a like, and if you didn't, please subscribe, and leave your opinions or thoughts in the comment section below. See you guys later, and have a good one.